Today we're talking about the five star predictions I have for this year. I'm not gonna go too in depth in them because some of them are continuations in series, so I don't want to spoil things. So the first one I have is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the end of the trilogy. I was previously reading this book and I think it's going to be a five star. It just just put it down because it got a bit too heavy for time. I don't know. I just never picked it up. So I want to finish it this year. I gave five star to the first one and four to the second one only because in the second one things got a bit more brutal. I don't usually read sci-fi, but I love this one. I think the part I love the most is the characters themselves, but also the mixed media format that these books contain. I think this is going to be great. All of them are going to be together now, so I think this is going to be a five star. Next one is Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Again, I started to read this book at some point. I put it down mainly because I was a bit scared that I was not going to like it as much as other people. Yeah, that makes no sense. Very well loved. This is the story of Laszlo. He's an orphan, but he's an apprentice in this library and he's always been obsessed with this lost city and then one day an opportunity shows for him and he is able to go into this mission I'm not sure if to see if they can find the city or if they have something to do there I think it's gonna be interesting the journey because all of them are like the rest of the people that are going with him are warriors and probably who's been to war in, I don't want to say just a librarian, but yeah. I know that there is romance in this duology. I, I've seen a lot of fan art and even art for the collector's edition, so I'm, I'm very excited. I'm also a bit terrified. I'm gonna give it a shot because I'm tired to see this book in my TBR. The next one is The Way of Kings. I've had this book for a couple of years now. I have read, um, I think maybe four Brandon Sanderson books. I think two of them were four stars and two of them were five stars. Yeah, I'm very excited. If This is gonna take me a while, probably. I think this is gonna be a five star. I don't even know what this is about. I started to read literally just one page and I was already hooked. At the time, I just didn't continue because I had other stuff to read. A thousand pages kind of scare me off, but now it's the time. Also, I put this book in my TBR for this year, so I really have to read this. The next book I have is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. I'm so excited for this. I need to finish this book before January 30th and probably even before that. I really need to finish Throne of Glass. I don't know if it's true, but I've heard a lot of people say that in Crescent City 3, everything might get very mixed. I've also heard this theory that the gold cover for Flame and Shadow might have something to do with Alien, so I don't know, but I really just want to finish the series before reading Crescent City 3. I gave Empire of Storms five stars. I haven't been able to continue with Tower of Dawn because I don't really like Hale. I'm not sure I care about his story, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I can't continue with this book if I haven't read Tower of Dawn. For some reason, I just can't. I think this is gonna be very painful, but hopefully very happy at the same time. There are two things, well, one is granted that I want to happen in this book. One of them, of course, rescued Aileen. The ending of Empire of Storms was very difficult. Aiden and Lisa Sandra. I want them to be okay. No, not only okay. Actually, I love all of them. But for some reason, the two of them were a very interesting couple. And at the end of Empire of Storms, everything just goes really bad. So yeah, I need them to get in good ground again. I'm sure this is going to be a five star. The next book I have, The Great Bad Watch by RJ Eason. I'm not sure about that. This one actually comes out February 1st, but I got an arc on Netgalley. So I'm currently reading it. Last night I got to 50% and I'm just loving it. This is a paranormal urban fantasy, uh, but it's kind of crime mixed with vampires and there's also a werewolf. I'm still discovering things that I was not expecting. Ever since I saw the cover, I was like in love. I didn't thought I was gonna get approved for this book, but I did. And it's just, just so good. There's a mystery about it. Yeah, there are some corpse, but um, there's also like missing art and no one really knows what happened. It's just fantastic. Also, there is one thing at the beginning of the book. I don't want to spoil anything. You should give it a shot. But something happens and one of our main characters, Jocasta. She ends up in this place and she she doesn't think it's the best thing. Actually, she thinks it's a punishment. You see her go through the getting to know what they really do in this apartment. So yeah, it's just been great. I do think it's gonna be a five star. I, I just need to finish to find out. Next one, um, I mean, I've read the synopsis, but 
I don't really know much about it. This is the last Fire Hunter and this gets released in April 9th. I still have a couple months to wait for this one but what drove me about this book is that two people need to go in this treacherous journey. One of them is a member of the Fire Hunters and they hunt demons I think and the other one it's a pregnant woman. I don't thing I've seen that before and for some reason that just called me because they need to make this trouble and she's like nine months pregnant so I think they make some kind of deal that if he gets her to safety to this place I don't remember what she will do but it's probably something that he's interested in yeah it's just for some reason just this book calls to me and also for some reason it this one reminds me of this episode of Avatar Lazar Bender where they help this family to cross the serpent's path or I, I don't know what it's called in English but it just reminds me of that so yeah I think I'm very biased to this book but yeah I'm, I'm very excited about that one I do think it's gonna be a five star the next one I have is one that I already mentioned but we're going to put it in the rightful place and that is House of Flame and Shadow. So excited about that book. If you saw my reading blog for House of Sky and Breath, you know at the beginning I wasn't very excited about the book. I just was going to finish it because it was part of my read your bookshelf challenge. If you saw it, you know that I ended up loving that book. I know many people don't. I actually thought that was going to be one of those people because um, the first time I read that one I just DNF'd it. I was like I don't care. But then I continue and oh my god, it was just so such a fantastic book. I love it and I really need to know. I I want to see how it's going to be this character in Valerius. I, I just I need more of everything. I pre-ordered this book. I didn't pre-order the five editions mainly because I didn't care about the five editions. I wanted three, which I have a lot of feelings about that kind of situation, but uh, that's for another video. Yeah, I'm super excited and I just I can't wait and I need to finish Throne of Glass first just in case. I, I'm sure this is gonna be a five star. It will shock me to death if it's not. The next book I have is The Mummy Returns. So uh, I'm not sure if it was 2023 or 22, but I read the first one. Uh, the books are based on the movies. I'm pretty sure the books were made after the movies. I had such a good time with the first one and I've always loved the movies so it's I don't know how to explain it. Um, kind of feel like going home. <laughs> Mummy Returns was always my favorite movie out of the two. The third was not good. I'm very excited about this one. I do think this is gonna be a five stars. I love all of the characters and I want to see Alex. Not a change in the characters. I love Rick O'Connell in the movies but in the book he was so funnier so I really want to see how they portrayed Alex in this book also I yeah I'm pretty sure I put this book in my TBR for this year so you know I'm trusting this book the next one is Hothead by Stella Riz. I discovered Stella Riz last year and I only haven't continued the series because I I don't want to run out of books from her to read <laughs> I'm expecting that she will publish new things but I haven't heard of anything. This series actually has six books and this is the fourth. Each book follows a different couple. This is a contemporary romance. And actually this is sport romance. I just wanted to continue because I love her books. It doesn't hold her punches, at least not for me. Backstories of her characters are always so heart-wrenching, but the stories always end up being excellent. My favorite so far has been book two, but I, I have hopes in this one. This is very daring of me because I haven't given five stars to any of her books so far. And the main thing is because I, I think she can get there. She always, for me at least, I feel like she needs something. And that's why I haven't been able to give her five stars. But I, I think, I always believe that the next one will be a five stars. I'm giving the spot to this. I hope I'm not let down. The next one is again a Brandon Sanderson book and it's Yumi and the Night Nightmare Painter. I, I can never say that one right. This is part of his secret project. I'm very excited because I've heard that if you like Tress you are going to like this one and I love Tress. So uh, I do want to give this one a shot. I'm not really sure about what this is about but I do know that the two of them are from two different worlds I think they need to come together to do something. But I don't really mind not knowing because Brandon Sanderson, so I, I like to go blind. And the last one is The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. Sarah Adams has become one of my favorite authors so far. This is a companion for the cheat sheet, which I love. I have even been thinking about rereading the cheat sheet. It's not related, so you don't have to, but I love the cheat sheet, so I've been thinking about it. This is probably like a second chance romance. I'm super in love with the cover, but 
that yeah. I think the book is going to be a five star. Again, it will shock me, but it could happen. So take this like a grain of salt. Those are all the books that I think they're going to be a five stars. This can totally change. I could be totally wrong with all of them. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you share any of these five stars or what are your five stars predictions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.